Good evening, and I'm back again with um versus <laughs> versus post. It will be the Saint Eve's gentle smoothening oatmeal scrub and mask versus the Garnier light and gradient three in one. So this one, I bought this uh, Saint Eve's gentle smoothening mask at. Uh, Robinson's for 300 pesos maybe this is 170 grams this one on the other hand is from Garnier and I don't know where I bought this probably Dubai or Kurdistan so I don't really know it's a hundred ml bottle and um, it's been with me for over a year and I'm um, I only use it probably once a month or twice a month because I don't know where to find another one like this so I use it Shreya Shreya slowly slowly and this is also the reason why um, I went around and looked for another scrub slash mask in the market which led me to the St. Eve's however the two of this um, of course because they come from different companies they have a different texture as well, different smell and everything. So on my right side, we will be using the St. Eve's mask. And on my left, we will be using the Garnier. So you can check out the difference. Now for the Garnier, again, we'll be using the Cabo, the Tabo, because we have no water here at the hospital. That's how poor these public hospitals are in the Philippines, especially in our municipio. Okay, so this one here, you have to, you know, wet your face first or dry, it's just fine. And then apply it um, on your desired area of your skin, but make sure... that you won't be putting it on your eyes okay so for demonstration purposes I will be applying only on half of my face okay now we will be switching to the other brand which is the St. Eve's this one has um, what you call this one the scrubs are like micro beads they're smaller it's like um, as small as when you dissolve an aspirin in water actually that's one way you could DIY a scrub you could dissolve an aspirin on water and apply it on your face and since aspirin has anti-inflammatory um, effects because it's an NSAID a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory um, drug you could use it on your face as well if you have acne okay um, this one the St. Eve's um has a thicker texture and finer micro beads it's it's like glue on your face okay and now we will pause this for 30 minutes let's see what does it say here um, five to seven minutes here and this one is we have to allow it to dry so maybe five to seven minutes as well so let's just make it ten and I'll be back in ten minutes okay put this on boss. Okay guys, so five minutes has passed. This one has dried well already. And this side, again, we put in the Garnier mask. So as you see, it's thicker 
and on the other side, on the right side, I used the same eaves. See, it has a different texture and right now, um, it feels a bit watery. And uh, we're gonna wash it off with our cabo. So when you wash it off, you have to make circular motions with your fingers because in that way you could easily remove the dead skin cells and for this side let's just go and since it's also a this is not just a scrub it's I mean this is not just a mask but it's a scrub as well so expect that there is lather included okay Forgive me for my smeared mascara. I used Maybelline Hyper Curl for my lashes today. But that's not my favorite brand. I'm gonna do a review next time on my favorite mascara brand. It's called Shawil. It's so cheap. It's generic. It's a drugstore product. But it is amazing and I've been using it for years. And I could only buy it in the Philippines. Um... Okay, so we'll be washing this off here. Um, the Garnier mask is uh, made of white clay. Uh, this reminds me of the Dead Sea clay that I once used and I once bought in Jordan. So, it's really good. Which one is better, if you're asking? Hmm. Mm. Is there a difference? <coughs> Hardly. I can't feel any difference at all. No notable difference. So, if you're gonna buy one, just buy whichever brand. There's no notable difference, really. See? But both of it cleans well. Both of it are scented. Both of it has micro beads, so no difference at all. Unless I think if you use it for longer terms, um, I mean like for a longer period, I think that's where you are going to see the difference. By the way, let me just highlight, um, I I'm going to make a, a more detailed review on these two products, but right now, I'm just giving you an overview. This St. Eve's is available in the market in the Philippines. It's a gentle smoothening mask. Um, so here, exfoliation factor, it says here it's gentle. And um, it's paraben free and dermatologist tested. It's all free and non-comedogenic. So non-comedogenic means that it won't clog your pores. Okay, because when your pores are clogged, you get white heads and black heads. Now, oops. this one is a Gar the Garnier um, one. It's, it promises to give you a, a brighter and more radiant skin. Um, the same as, you know, the, the Garnier products generally promises you that. However, when you have smooth skin, it's guaranteed that you're going to have a radiant skin because you are exfoliating, sloughing off the dead skin on, your, on, on the outer part of your dermis. So, that's it. So, it's up to you which one you're going to buy, which one is the cheapest option for you. But I really love these products because first, um, it's, it's multifunctional. When you're traveling, 
this is good especially the 100 ml because you could carry it around with you and um, you could use this as a wash as a scrub and as a mask so um, products which are multifunctional are really great for those people who are on the go and who travels a lot because it just serves many purposes so that's it guys goodbye